During the New World Eternum open beta, I went over to the free-for-all PvP island, and this is how it went. The first thing I noticed when I was walking up to the free-for-all area was these massive pillars with these wave-like wall things coming out of them, and this was the boundary for the free-for-all island. Later on, I discovered that once you go in here and get some resources, you have to recross this line in order to keep your items upon death or teleporting. I ended up running back to the PvP boundary here because I noticed that the music changed. And that's a good tip for if you're a lower level player in a high level area, is to listen to the music change to the combat music and you know something's targeting you. On my way out of the free for all PvP area, I actually ended up noticing this chest. I found out in order to open it, you need to craft this glittering gold key for 5 of the mystic doubloons. You can only craft one of these keys every 4 days, but it's 100% worth it because once I made this key, I went back to that chest that I found earlier, I opened it up, and it gave me 500 mystic doubloons. And that's nutty. Once I realized I needed a key to open up the chest, I decided to move deeper into the PvP zone, and this is what I ended up running into. I assumed that this ghost ship was like the easter egg one that you see off the shore and once it disappears it's gone so I ended up trying to get a little bit closer and then this ended up happening. I noticed that the cannons from the ship were dropping these orb like things. So I thought that these would have been like some sort of mystic doubloon if I picked them up. But boy was that a mistake. Trying to pick up the orbs caused high level mobs to spawn that could one hit me. So I decided just to move past this and keep exploring. After I moved past the ghost ship, I noticed this outpost in the corner, so I decided to go up and explore. There were some high level enemies at the top, so I decided to get out of there as soon as possible. After leaving the little outpost, the one thing I couldn't help but notice was the amount of resources that was in this area. This is going to be a very competitive place to farm. I seen this flag and I decided to try to like 
burn it to maybe start an event or something. Because in the recent season, they actually had an event where you had to burn a flag for one of the missions. While I was crossing this bridge, I looked down and noticed that there was kind of another pathway and another bridge going underneath this one. And I was just thinking about how cool the fights would be on that location. This place is going to be sick. At this point, I'm just trying to get as far into the PvP zone as I possibly can. I'm really debating if I should just stick to the plan and go inside and explore as much as I can or if I should go down this little path just to see what's down there and I end up deciding to go down the path just to take a little peek at what's down here. This one supply crate gave me 12 cursed balloons. And this is how I was able to craft the glittering gold key to open up the chest. When I made it to this point and saw the giant pile of gold on the ground, I knew I was getting to the right place. The problem is I wasn't able to go much further than this because of the mob density and I would just get one tap. Once I was ready to leave the area, I couldn't just teleport out. You have to extract out in order to keep your doubloon. Once you extract with your doubloon, you can teleport away and you're going to want to head over to the Cutlass Keys capital. Once you're here, you're going to want to head over to the Well of Fortune. This is where you're going to spend your doubloons and you're going to be able to craft your glittering gold key. There's two different types of chests in the free for all PVP area in New World Eternum. One, you're going to need the glittering gold key to open and the other one, you don't need any key to open. And you can find a gold curse coconut, which is the other item needed to craft some of these things in any of the chests in the free-for-all PvP area. Well guys, that was basically my adventure in the free-for-all PvP area in my experience. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, comment with what you enjoyed about it. If you didn't, comment something that you didn't. And for more tips, tricks, guides, and other game-related content, check out my channel.